Warning, the following contains offensive comedy and should not be viewed by anyone ever. Uh, welcome to the channel. I just wanted to make a quick video with something that happened on Sunday that I thought was really cool and I'd like to share with you. Every Sunday, me and my friend Zach go to Punchline Sundays. It's a comedy contest where comedians each do one minute um, for two rounds and then the audience will pick their favorite ones and they'll compete in a third round. Um, so we go every week. Um, I've only made it to the finals one time. Um, and Zach had never made it to the finals until now. So me and Zach are both new to comedy. Um, I recently started being able to do it without having to have notes on hand. Um, but until Sunday, Zach always still had his notes on his phone and he read off of them. Now, the first round, as you can see, Zach will have his phone in his hand. And let's listen to what Jeff Joe, the host, says to him after the round is over. Very energetic tonight, huh? Uh, when I was a little kid, I was so retarded. I didn't understand what a spectrum was, you know, colors. I wore Velcro shoes till I was 12, and I thought it was normal to talk to yourself in public, you know, in front of people. <laughs> well, you know, one day I found my mom's dildo, and it was a uh, colorful, like a rainbow. My big cousin called it Jelly Dog. <laughs> he made me believe if I looked at it again, a monster named Jelly Dog was going to break out of the closet and eat me while I was sleeping. Huh? Oh, fuck me, how about those cowboys tonight, guys? Shit. Yeah, man. Might as well stick a Jelly Dog in my ass. <laughs> so, my, uh, girl <laughs> my girlfriend told me my lack of teeth is made up for by being funny. If you ask my asshole, he's a he because he's attached to me, but he would say he preferred to have more teeth. <laughs> Rick the Dick, hey, before you leave, Rick the Dick, come back. Come have a seat. Have a seat, Rick the Dick. Y'all give it up for Rick the Dick one more time. Y'all give it up. Rick, you'd have been here maybe five, maybe six weeks straight, right? Uh, that's correct. So, like, I be listening to what you be saying, and some of the shit you be saying actually do be funny. <laughs> but I think the biggest problem is you got to get rid of this phone in your hand. Every week you be here and you got that phone in your hand. So my challenge to you is to try to focus on your stage presence and come with the shit memorized and that phone in your pocket. Can you do that next week? All this here, do y'all think it would have kind of been a little bit different if the phone had the phone? Thank you, sir. Well, this is probably the wrong audience to ask this shit. These niggas act like they paid $1,400 to me. I don't know what the spirit of these people is tonight, but if you can hear that message, please. That's my challenge for you next week. One more time for Rita One more time for Rita All right, now let's get into the second round where he actually listens to the host's advice and puts his phone down. I think that you'll be surprised with the reaction and support that he receives. Coming back to the stage, start clapping again for Rick the Dick. I have a weird panic attack disorder. Too cold outside, fucking panic attack. I tell you what, I'm having them right now on stage in front of you. And I might have a heart attack because I'm getting fucking old, but I'm okay. Yeah. Hooker shoves a thumb up my ass. Panic attack. You have to pull it up. Panic attack. I don't laugh at my joke, but you all think it's uh, my panic attack's gotten better. So, I had a rough time asking my transsexual date. Uh, she was in here, Audi. Yeah. I just came with her belly button. Then she came to mine. I mean, it was a good time. Uh, I mean, you really, you really know you need a psychiatrist when you're doing stand-up on her. I mean, I mean, open mic. God damn, do that back. So, you really know you need open mic when you're doing stand-up on your psychiatrist. The worst part about the last show, she doesn't like that much because she was the date. <laughs> 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 Even though you said 
that's some of the nastiest shit I heard in my life. You came up, I don't even want to dap you up. Say what you got to say. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got 10 seconds. Uh, I'm just happy to be here, everybody. It's nice to talk to y'all. Uh, you know, my everyday working at the post office and whatnot, you know. Uh, uh, Look, there's blowing people in the bushes and stuff. Yeah, I'm here. I don't know why this mic's so fucking low because there's not any midgets in here. Break the dick, folks! Break the dick! Break Now, I've probably been to about 30 comedy shows in the last few months, and that was the first time I've ever seen the crowd chant someone's name. I thought that that was really cool. I was very proud of my friend. Um, and let's see what happens in the final round. Number between, oh, one or two. Next comedian coming back to the stage. Y'all give it up for Rick the Dick. Y'all. He's gonna say some really horrible shit. That's cool to go like that. Yeah. Yeah, so I was uh, dating an ex-girlfriend of mine lately, and uh, man, it was weird. She said she's a squirter now. So six seconds, six seconds in, I pulled out and said, "Me too." Yeah. Yeah. She didn't like that, you know. Yeah. She does now. She's getting over it. But uh. <laughs> So yeah, my ex-wife, she is a real bitch, tell you what. Uh, but I had a dream the other day that uh, she wasn't. And the bitch called me in the morning and woke me up and it ruined my fucking dream to where I thought she wasn't just a horrible piece of shit, but... Uh, so, she's still a bitch to me now, I guess. Yeah, but the dream didn't it. help, I don't know. That's what you gotta say. Oh. Rick the Dick, ladies and gentlemen. Say the name of whoever the fuck it is, y'all vote. And we <laughs> 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 Rick, 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 Hey, thank you. Y'all have a careful, be careful out there. It sucks, and uh, I'll take care. I don't, I don't know what the fuck happens after this. I don't know if, uh, yeah, I appreciate you, though. You're awesome. Yeah. Rick, you will win an undisclosed amount of money. Uh, oh, yeah. Fuck, and, uh, I didn't know if, that. You, if you would like to come perform here tomorrow, I'll even give you another uh, undisclosed amount of money for coming perform tomorrow. I definitely would like to. Yeah. All right, and as you can see, Zach won. That was amazing. I've never seen um, anything like that as, in, in comedy so far. I mean, I know I'm relatively new, but I just thought that that was super cool, and I want to share it to you guys. Um, congratulations again to Zach. That was amazing, and it was really cool to see you, you know, kind of step out of your shell and, uh, you know, become more confident. All right, thanks, everybody. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I appreciate the support.